Hello, hello. Welcome back to Seeking Happy. Today we're going to be doing another 90s toy slash relic haul. If this is the first one you're seeing, you can go back and check out the others if you'd like. Um, basically, I've been building up my 90s collection for years, trying to track down things that I had as a kid. Mostly toys, but also just like random items, school supplies, Anything that I could get, I was going to say candy, um, usually I do. Anything that I can get that reminds me of like my favorite childhood moments and toys and things like that. And I'm taking this opportunity during quarantine to go through them, not only myself, but with you. Um, this is something I've been wanting to do forever, ever since like um, back when 90s mystery boxes were a big thing and like Bunny Myers was doing them. Um... I was like, oh man, I could make a better 90s box than that. Like, I so wanted to, like, show off my collection. And then now, um, I've seen Next Gen actually doing this, going through her, like, accumulation of treasures that she hadn't been able to before, now that she has the time, kind of going through them. And I was like, oh, I so, like, want to do that. Like, I miss my stuff. So... I'm finally making it happen. We're going to be going through some of my 90s boxes that I haven't seen in a long time. I'm going to be blindly grabbing out an item and we'll check it out together. And at the end of the video, I'm going to go with you to my Pinterest page really quick as a closer and we're going to figure out, or we're going to take a peek at one of the things on there that I love and have not found yet. So a, a treasure I'm still chasing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and reach in, pull out the first treasure, which I'll do off camera just to save you some annoyance of like me scrambling around. Okay, so this is the first item that I have pulled out and it's gonna be one of our McDonald's Barbie figures. So in my household, and I've said this before, we were huge collectors. Rather, I guess my mom was a huge collector of all the like McDonald's toys that would come in the Happy Meals. We loved them and we had to have them. And especially the Barbies, um, it was the Barbies and the Cabbage Patch toys. Those were the two that I remember getting like a lot, like having to get like the full collection. Not that I really liked Cabbage Patches, like the full size, but when they would come out in these size, I don't know, we liked them. <laughs> Um, so this is one of the ones from that time period and it was usually me and my younger sister that would get them and I would remember which, like whenever I'd see them, I remember them, but I remember which ones were hers and which ones were mine. This one actually was one of the ones that I had, so it's like, it always kind of makes me super happy. So she's got her like very 90s fashion outfit on. I love it. And this one is really cool because she actually had a lot of movement to her. So she moves at the waist and she can pick up her sunglasses and put them on and look around. But then she's just like stuck in that awkward pose. <laughs> but still like she was really cool to me at the time because she could do that. I just felt like she looked like so natural, so lifelike. And really even the fact that she had like real you know, real hair, um, was a feature because a lot of the ones that we had did not, they were just completely plastic and the fact that she moved it all. And then also she came with like this big prop and her, the way that she was standing with it was like, you know, really casual. It reminds me there was also a SeaWorld one that had like a little, like a Shamu, like a little orca that I loved. And she was kind of like along the same like time period and caliber. Okay, so this was one of my favorites. I'm going to set her down right here and let's go ahead and grab something else. <laughs> okay, so this is one of the items that's not like truly 90s, but 90s reminiscent. Um, it's a Lisa Frank like tape dispenser. I got this for stationery because I used to ride a whole bunch. Some of these things, warning, are not going to be like in the best amazing condition. Um, just cause you know, I'm finding these at like garage sales, flea markets, like wherever I can find them. Um, so they range in quality of, uh, the item, but not quality of the memory. <laughs> okay. So this one is Lisa Frank. This is one of the pictures that I feel like was around and heavily featured at the time when I was young and collecting my stuff. And then it's just got this beautiful rainbow unicorn tape that you can pull out and, you know, just kind of decorate 
your journals or letters or whatever as you see fit. It's definitely like washi tape, but like washi tape I don't think was a thing. I am pretty sure it was not a thing. And also I never know if it's washi or washti. Is that, I don't know, I don't know. But I never really use it very much, washi tape, so I never get the hang of saying it. Um, this I actually like to use when I'm doing like going on vacation or something in my calendar. Then I'll just trace the whole week with unicorns and that's, that's how I know it's super magical. Super cute. Okay, let me know. Did you love Lisa Frank? We used to get all the school supplies and everything. And actually it was one of my favorite times. I love school supplies. I love like, I still love like stationery, office stuff, craft stuff. And when my mom, because there, we were a huge family, when my mom would go school supply shopping and bring home like all the loot, it was like a, it was like a ritual. It was so fun. We would all sit around all the couches and everything. <laughs> and she would take out like, okay, here's all the rulers and they were all always really cool and decorative like my mom was like on top of it and everybody would we would go like in order so everybody would get to pick one of that item and then it'd be like the next one is pencils and somebody else would get to go first and like in the end we'd have like our big like treasure of like all our new school supplies it was so fun okay let me know if you're oh man i got a call in the middle of that and it interrupted it i hope that that was probably a little bit of a messy moment so I apologize but let's keep going okay I already grabbed the next treasure and it is <laughs> an astro pop this is like the most random stuff seemingly but if you're like a 90s addict like me then it's not you know what I'm talking about here okay so this is again man it got like warped <laughs> This is a newer release of the candy, which was actually extremely hard to find. But like me and my husband were talking about these one time and we were trying to describe them because we, you know, we didn't remember the name or anything. And we were saying how like it was a candy that people would get and then you'd lick it and it would become incredibly sharp. We were like, it was like the texture of a Jolly Rancher, but it was already a point. So when you would start eating it, like it would go like shank level like <laughs> weapon level and the people kids would like go around on the playground and like poke each other with them like it was a serious weapon and I told I was like I swear I'll find them I, I know I can find them and he didn't think they were in existence and I found one I gave it to him for Christmas or well I got like five or something so I put one in my 90s box now it's all damaged. I'm gonna have to get another. And by the way, I'm not eating this 90s candy and stuff. I just, I just like to have it. Cause like, here it is, it's real. It was an Astro Pop. Now next time I have that discussion with somebody, I can show them. <laughs> what else do we got? Oh my gosh, I think I was talking about this in my last video. <laughs> so this is one of the McDonald's toys, if I'm right. Let's see, it says Disney. Yeah, it says McDonald's. I could have been showing you, sorry, Mickey D, Mickey D Corp. So this is one of the McDonald's toys. We were getting Toy Story toys when I was a kid, but they were like all different scale. <laughs> and we were just, you know, using our imagination to fix that. But it actually, this was the one that like, there were two that annoyed me the most. Number one, Rex was actually like our smallest toy. I don't know what he, I feel like he was a keychain. He was like this big. And number two, my Bo Peep and Woody were not the same size. She was like so much smaller and it made me like so sad because you know they're in love if you didn't know. So the way that this works is like you pull, you you know, you push her along oops, and her little sheep like circle her. So <laughs> there they are. We only got two sheep here, not three super cute oh you know what this is actually not exactly the one I was thinking because the one I was thinking of was a spinning top and we definitely did have a version that was that that was a spinning top so I guess this is actually another one that I had forgotten about really pretty face like really well done Ooh, I'm impressed are you impressed isn't it crazy how like some things just seem like they did a better job before like what happened See, like her top is just really cool. The colors on this are so bright and pretty. I'm really happy with that. Let's do one more over here. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Does anybody remember this? Okay, obviously this is a McDonald's toy. Or maybe not. Not obvious if you don't know what it is. But this is a chicken nugget. And um, when I was a kid, they released these several times, I think, with different like costumes and accessories that you would put them on. Let's see if we have a year or anything. Oh my gosh, it says 1988. But like I said, we have a big family and we had like hand-me-down toys. So sometimes it was like the oldest, older kids toys, but you know, I was playing with them when I was a kid because we, we had them still. Um, but actually, okay. This was one that I feel like I, I've got a story about. So I don't know why, but like these toys came out and I think we got, I'm sure we did get some. I'm sure we did because we got toys of everything. But like, I just remember going to a doctor's office one time for like, you know, a visit or whatever, like a shot or something. And they had a set of these. This one is so ugly. I wish there was a different one for this story. Not that any of them are super cute. This is so embarrassing, but <laughs> they had a, a set of it at the doctor's office and they had like the chicken nugget, the toy, and they had like the hat and the little, they all had, there'd be like, I don't know, a superhero. The ones I remember the most were the Halloween ones because they came out with Halloween ones. But anyways, they had their little accessories and then some other toy that I can't remember. But anyways... <sighs> I put this toy like in my pocket or something and I, I took it home. Not this one. This one's like a <laughs> another one that I found some that I had to buy. But like as a kid, I don't know why I wanted this chicken nugget so bad. Oh my gosh, that's super funny and weird. Whew, that was embarrassing. To, so if you wanted something embarrassing when you were a kid, then you got to tell me. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull up my... Memories of the 90s. Um, this is my Pinterest board. I'll give you guys like a little sneak peek. This is like all my 90s stuff. I could get on here for like hours and obsessively look and be like, oh, what do I remember? Okay. And the first thing I'm going to pull up here that I still don't have is a Kristen Reese Lassen picture. This is just like a picture, like a painting or whatever. But these were like so big in the 90s or 90s, 2000s. Um, there were so many school supplies that were either Lisa Frank or Christian Reese Lassen. This is what we had. And he would have all these folders and spirals and stuff with these prints on them. And they were always super surreal. I think I have another one. Like this. Okay. They always had like animals, like whales or seals orcas orcas are my favorite animal so those um and then they would do like a planetary mix i'm pretty sure this is him this is definitely what his artwork looked like yeah um so there would be like lions with like the moon behind them they were just really pretty looking like they're just really pretty okay <laughs> and I definitely had a ton of like folders and spirals of it and I want them I don't have them in my collection so I gotta get them okay <laughs> this is where I'm gonna end this episode I hope you loved it I hope you saw something you remembered here if you did please let me know because like this I'm so excited about this 90s conversation between us and sharing our memories and what we had and what we liked and what we remember and if I jogged your memory on anything. So definitely just, you know, I share these because it makes me happy and I'm hoping it makes you happy too. So if it did, leave a like and a comment so like I know you're watching because I would like that. All right, that's it for today. Thank you. Goodbye.